Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and you're watching Nerd News. Okay, since last week's theme was the death of physical guitar stores, where should I go film my next episode but at an actual living, uh, doing well guitar store? We are at Malmö Musikaffär, and I have the great privilege of meeting Frey. Thank you for having me and taking yeah, your time from your busy schedule. And we have Damien filming. He will be showing some cool licks in a while, so you'll see him... Uh, in front of the camera as well. Um, okay, I can start by asking how uh, is it actually doing well? And um, I mean, with the current situation of physical guitar stores in Sweden being outnumbered by the online stores, how are you actually doing at the moment? We are actually doing quite well. Hmm? Um, we have been um, Growing, we are uh, uh, like a full line music store with basic keyboards and electronic drums and uh, beginning uh, nylon string guitars <laughs> and a lot of high end stuff as well. And mm. I think that's the the magical combo you yeah. need today to to have customers coming here and wanting mm -hmm. to try new stuff. I noticed when I went around in at least the guitar section, section, you can't find the regular budget brands or the low price guitars. Is that a, a conscious choice? Uh, for us, everything is about space because mm -hmm. we have a, a small space here in the middle of the town. And so an hour and we, we really like guitars. Mm -hmm. And to, to have the, the room for the high end stuff, then we had to... to uh, uh, take away some other brands so so we still have like uh, the squire guitars mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. epiphones and mm -hmm. uh, the lower priced uh, priced ibanez guitars and stuff like that but uh, we can't have the, we, we don't have the room to have too many of those okay mm -hmm. because we need to find space for the good stuff mm. as well yeah and you also have quite a number of as you said high grade pricey guitars here premium guitars yes yeah <laughs> maybe that's the right <laughs> premium that's the word i was looking for not high priced and uh, not uh, reachable for a nor normal premium, human beings premium. That, that comes with a price yeah yeah that's probably true um, so th that's been our focus the last maybe six years to build up a, a good uh, assortment of, of yeah. premium instruments mm. and amps and pedals mm. yeah. and everything mm. connected to the guitar mm. Mm. and then we have uh, with the keyboard section as well we have mm. some premium brands but it's mainly guitar mm. focused here can i ask you a question i'm wondering uh, in the guitar part of your store what do you sell most is it guitars pedals or amps guitars uh, gu maybe maybe um uh, guitars and pedals mm -hmm. the most and we sell a lot of amps as well, but mm -hmm. but mostly guitars, because mm -hmm. if you buy one uh, boutique amp, you probably are quite satisfied with that. Mm -hmm. But you can always add one more guitar. Ah, and a few pedals. And a few pedals. Yeah. And and the pedals are like candy. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so you 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 can buy a, buy a, a new one every month oh, yeah. with, without breaking the bank. Oh, so you that's can get, true. That's get the some thing. really yeah. cool pedals for. From a thousand crowns, that mm. sounds really nice. Mm -hmm. when you, there, of course, there are more expensive pedals as well. Yeah. But the the new Boss line that they have mm. is a really decent price pedals that sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you you can buy new new pedals without being losing too much money on it. You don't have to save up to buy because no. a new pedal. Yeah. But a, a new yeah. high end guitar, you have to. Yeah. Like this one. Like this one. You have to save a, a bit of money yeah. first to buy it. So, so I, I think, and I, it, I think it's even between guitars and, and okay. uh, in in all the price ranges mm -hmm. uh, and the pedals in oh, all the price ranges. Interesting. I have no idea. Okay. Well, let's go to the actual nerd news part of this segment. We are here, of course, to talk about new things guitar related. 
And I let Frey choose three things, and uh, he chose one guitar, one pedal, and one amp. So let's start with the guitar, since it's already in the picture. Tell us more. So this is is uh, Coward Guitars from California. Um, it's a it's a really small brand, boutique brand. They build everything themselves. Uh, there are I think four guys building a, a bunch of different guitars. This is their most well known model. Not mm -hmm. that well known because there's still a lot of people that never heard of it mm -hmm. because they're really small. But in in the, that premium builder luthier section they're quite known um, and this is the banshee model okay um, and the um, it looks kind of similar to another model if you play authentic yeah it is but can it's, i say uh, that here <laughs> oh, sorry oh. but in my opinion a lot better oh. um, and there's the uh, guitar player from rival sons he's probably mm -hmm. the most well-known user of this model and the brand. What would you say sets it apart to, to that guitar from the other brand that you would think of? Um, probably... That's a cool riff, by the way. <laughs> the new, new Gent album. Oh, the new Gent album. <laughs> it's the Malmö sound. Oh. So it's the, the attention to details, mm -hmm. um, like the, it's an offset model, but it's still very well balanced. Mm -hmm. It's a lightweight, they're very good at assorting wood, mm -hmm. and it, it's, a, it's a really good uh, guitar. There are, of course, a lot of good guitars from the other brand as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then you need to either look for them really well around the globe to find a couple of different guitars that are really good. With this brand, you can just you, you know it's good you know if it's you good. just buy mm -hmm. one from the store. You, you know, I, I don't need to try ten of these to find a one good guitar. They're all very good and very even in quality. Oh, right. So what's it made of? It looks like it's made of the the, the, the usual materials. Yeah, but so it's a, it's a mahogany body, lightweight. Satin finish, oh. uh, mahogany neck, Wenge fretboard. Oh, Wenge, okay. It's really nice. Uh, their own custom tuners. Oh, really? Because they like the, the old look yeah, of the band band, tuner, band style, But yeah. these ones are, you can actually, actually work. <laughs> yeah, they actually work. <laughs> they stay in tune. Is there a maple top as well? Or is that just. just... No, that, that, that's just a, a, a binding on, on this one. Like because a... they, they have three different models of the Banshees. It's the Banshee Express mm -hmm. with the satin. Okay. It's the, the most basic model. Mm -hmm. Then they have the standard with the high gloss sparkle finishes. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever finish you want. And then they have the um, deluxe version with the flame maple top or a quilted or mm -hmm. with, with a visible grain. Okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. More like the other brand all oh, right I see. like their old stuff the electronics pickups and everything is that their own brand or is it no, something they, they buy from other brands so this is the wolf tone humbuckers okay. that they use mm -hmm. um, and they have emerson custom mm -hmm. pops oh, and right. electronics mm -hmm. and goto all right, uh, right. bridge and tailpiece mm -hmm. and then their own tuners mm -hmm. excellent yeah you'll hear it played in a while but it looks really great and it's really cheap as well <gasps> if you think about the time they spent building it i suppose so is this how many is is this uh, i don't know how many guitars do they make a month do you think is it um four maybe okay <laughs> okay it's that level i, yeah. I thought it was uh, uh, how did you even hear of them uh i found them on instagram Okay. Then I met them at the NAM show and I talked oh. to, started to talk to Doug, uh, mm -hmm. Doug Cowery, and he's mm -hmm. the founder of the company. He's a, he's a really nice guy. He loves uh, Simpsons, mm -hmm. he loves beer, and he loves <laughs> guitars. Okay. Um, and I immediately felt a connection with oh, him. Great. So then I, I thought, I, I have to buy a couple of his guitars. Yeah, yeah. So th this is the first one. We have a second one coming soon. Oh, okay. It's a standard version. It's a Cadillac mm -hmm. green with gold mm -hmm. details. So that's going to be nice as well, well. well. Grab one. You'll be the only one owning one of these in this part of the world. I'm sure. I think there is. We're, we're the first store in 
in Sweden and probably in Northern Europe yeah, as probably. well. Yeah, and I think there is one cower in Sweden. Already? Before. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a couple of years Private, old. okay. Yeah. So, so privately imported and, and bought. Oh, excellent. Okay, next product. Yeah, so then it's a, a pedal brand called Solo Dallas. Mm -hmm. um, it's, um, it's an Italian founder, but they're made in the US. Mm -hmm. uh, it all started with this beautiful unit. It's the Schaefer replica. He released it on Nam 2016, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's an exact replica of the old Schaefer wireless unit that um, uh, Angus Young used a lot on a lot of uh, tours and mm -hmm. also recordings. Um, he got in contact with uh, the, the original builder and he oh, really? sent him a unit, one of the original oh, units. Really? Oh. And then he could uh, reproduce it exactly. Um, and it's a really cool... Looking unit, quite expensive. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah. So he f thought that I have to to offer this to the world oh, about the guitar yeah. players that yeah. love ACDC as much yeah. as the Italian guy <laughs> does. So then he started to offer the same circuit, but in a more pedal board yeah, yeah. friendly yeah. version and maybe a bit more affordable. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, three thousand crowns. Okay. Um, and then super cheap. It's they have it's a, like six a, boss pedals. Yeah. yeah. So then they have a larger version also, but th this is the the one that he wants to to push. Okay. Yeah, and they sound the, instant Angus. They, they do. We tried them before. The thing is that Angus still uses. If it's, are they still touring? ACDC? I can't yeah. remember. Uh, but I watched the. If you watch the rig rundowns, it, here it's using. If not this one, something very similar. Yeah. Because I think the wireless had some kind of boost built in because it yeah, needed to boost the radius thing. It was a, it was a classic radio transmitter receiver. Yeah. That's so how it did it back in the 70s. boost the signal a lot yeah. to, to have it to, to work over big yeah. stages. So, so the, the Schaefer guy, he built a, like a, a booster and also with a limiter because he didn't want to, to push the amp too hard. So then it's, a, it's a very specific sound. Mm. It's not a clean boost at all. No, it isn't. And it is, it's very much instant Angus. Yeah. <laughs> it's just press the button that you sound like him. Yeah, it really works. So it's, You'll hear it soon. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's a really cool pedal. Yeah. And they're brand new. Uh, we just got them last week. And I think we're the only one in Sweden that offer mm. these mm. as well. Uh, Are they making any other pedals at all? Or is no, it just they're making the, the three versions of the towers. The big one, the slightly bigger one, and then this this one is. So there's one that's even bigger than this one. No, it's, it's this a, is the big in one. between. Okay. So also in, in pedal form. <laughs> okay. So, um, All right. so it start, started with this one, then the bigger pedal, okay. then he released okay, the smaller then. one. Um, then he makes pickups. Mm -hmm. So Filtertron, oh, okay. Malcolm Young, oh, okay. Time, oh, and okay. Humbuckers, Angus Young. Time. Oh, really? And he also makes an um, amp. Mm -hmm. uh, Marshall's okay. type of so it really you can uh, get the exact thing. Yeah, he he spent a lot of time and money the the Solo Dallas founder to mm -hmm. find the exactly oh, right okay. sound and uh, with with the unit is there. Huh? It's yeah, you hear it. It's it's really close. It's really nice. Uh, okay. Thanks. That was the product number two. Let's go to product number three. And it's not the tube expander, by the way, but it's part of the signal. No, it's something else. Yeah. From Sweden. Yeah, from Sweden. So it's uh, Olson Amps, the Little Hill. Um, Olson started out with the, the uh, bigger, like Fender Vox-ish type of clean combos. Mm -hmm. uh, he never really did a, a dirt channel. Mm -hmm. um, and he released a, a small head, I think two years ago, mm -hmm. that he, it's now the little hill. So it's the, oh, okay. this is the, the latest version mm -hmm. with a 20 watt, two channel, cleanish and uh, a lot of more dirt. Okay. The channel one, which is, the, which is the game channel. It's a really good sounding, solid built um, app. Mm -hmm. Is it close to anything that already exists? Like a, one of the big brands? No, I wouldn't say so. Of, of course, there is. It's, it's hard to, to find a new 
mm-hmm. main uh, a brand new sound mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. tubes mm-hmm. because yeah, yeah there is a lot of I don't think anyone there. wants a brand new sound with no, tubes but, yeah. but but the thing I like with with John Olson is he doesn't make copies of others mm-hmm. he tries to to do something new but it's mm-hmm. with inspiration from okay. other companies mm-hmm. um, so so th- this is I don't really know uh, um, like a specific model that mm-hmm. I can point to that okay. is mm-hmm. the before mm-hmm. this one so mm-hmm. it's uh, he, he does things a little different than mm-hmm. others mm-hmm. as well and a really high quality build mm-hmm. what kind of tubes are they do you know No, <laughs> <laughs> it's an EL six L something, probably exactly. somewhere. It's tubes and a twelve something maybe in the front end. Yeah, but it's made in Sweden. Yeah, it's by like, by your Nordson actually made by. Yeah, and he it seems uh, to have changed the logo. Is that? Yeah, he, he, he had a couple of different tries. I, I've seen this before. So man. Th- th- that's the older logo. Yeah, exactly. That's the one he started out with. Mm-hmm. Then he had uh, released a couple of new products and he wanted to, to redo the logo. So that's the new one. Oh. And also on the BGF 100 head mm-hmm. that he built it together with uh, Björn Jul. Yeah, it's, it's uh, quite well known, I would say, in the uh, at least the pedal and amp world. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's a builder. I thought it was a guitar player. No, it, it's it's a builder. He's the the founder of the um, the uh, Beyond Jul effects the, uh, oh, okay. that he hand builds in Sweden, and he, his wife paints them. Really expensive, uh, cool uh, pedals. Then there is the barefoot effects that are U.S. made pedals mm-hmm. from his designs. Oh, really? And then there is the Mad Professor brand. That is the also from his designs, but built in Finland. Oh. And now he, ha, he has a cooperation with uh, uh, One Control from uh, Japan oh. that makes. Yeah, yeah. The, they, that. they do a lot of. Okay, together. he is Bjorn Yu. Now I know who he is. Yeah. The One Control guy. Yeah. Okay. And he, and he uh, worked together with John to build this head. Oh, excellent. And he built the, the uh, Mad Professor amps or the, the oh, designed right. them oh, really? at least. What sets this amp apart from other amps, do you say? Well built, good sounding, easy to use. You can use it with pedals, you can use it standalone. Mm-hmm. Um, really good amp. Mm-hmm. Does it have any special features that you won't find on any other amp? No, it's 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 a it's a quite basic basic amp mm-hmm. actually, but it sounds really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can really really dial in a bad sound on it mm-hmm. just from the amp. Mm-hmm. Okay. Excellent. Three new or at least newish products yeah. exclusive. So thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. But I think it's time we hear them, don't you? So let's have Damien play some cool ACDC lifts or some maybe not ACDC licks something that's close to ACDC licks because then YouTube won't take away my video <laughs> uh, okay let's see how that goes <laughs> 